What's up guys, Supergeek here. After waiting for so long, I finally got my hands on this HP Omnibook X laptop and I've been using it for quite a few days now and I freaking love this laptop. What's special about this laptop is its processor. It's powered by the Snapdragon X Elite chipset from Qualcomm and if you know anything about this chipset, you know that this chipset is going to change the Windows laptop game forever. It's an ARM-based chipset from Qualcomm and it comes head-to-head -head with Apple's M-series ARM processors in every single aspect, be it the performance, the battery life, the efficiency, everything. So let's check out this laptop first, then we're going to talk about the chipset. HP Omnibook X looks fantastic with its minimal design. It only got an HP logo on top, which is a glossy logo, looks fantastic. It's giving the MacBook vibes with all its metal build and it's only 14 mm thick to the thickest part and it weighs only 1.3 kilograms which is really good let's talk about the io on the left you get two usb type c ports and both of them can do charging and both of them can carry a display signal at the right you got a headphone jack and a usb type a port so as you can see it's a drop jaw design now let's open the laptop to see how it looks from the inside. As you can see, you got this really awesome keyboard with dual tone finish. Even the power button has its own accent, it looks fantastic. And at the bottom, you got a trackpad. It's a glass top trackpad with really awesome finish. And here you get the Snapdragon X Elite sticker and the Omnibooks branding. So I really like this layout. The keyboard is really good. The keys has this really soft touch to it. And the function keys are different colors with shortcuts on them. So you can use them to control different things. And uh, the keyboard is backlit. There are two levels of brightness. You may not be able to see the backlight in this lighting, but the backlight is pretty good for low light conditions. And let's turn. Let's turn it off and it got this co-pilot key which replaces your right control key. Now let's come to the trackpad. It's really large and it got glass top. That means it's really nice to touch and it's very accurate as well. Let's now talk about this awesome display. It's 14 inches. It got this really thin bezels all around it and it has glossy finish on top. The resolution is 2K with 16 by 10 aspect ratio and it's a touchscreen display. At the top, you get this five megapixel camera with privacy shutter, and it also comes with Windows Hello support, which is fantastic. The display's color tone is a bit warm. It's because it's a certified display to protect your eyes from blue light. The display is great. It's uh, really contrasty, and it got really vibrant colors. The only problem with this display is that it got only 300 nits of brightness. It's not good for this price point. And it got this glossy finish, which is again, not good when you're working outdoors. Now let's come to the performance. The laptop is powered by a Snapdragon X Elite chip paired with 16 <laughs> gigs of DDR5X RAM and one terabyte of NVMe storage. The RAM is soldered onto the board, that means it's not replaceable or upgradable. The storage is upgradable though, but you have to replace the only NVMe storage that it comes with. The laptop is snappy and it handles every task without breaking a sweat. It boots up and even wakes up pretty fast. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the compatibility. The first thing that everyone does with a Windows laptop is to install a browser. And I've done the same thing. I installed all the major browsers, including Chrome, Firefox, and Brave, and all of them ran perfectly well, and the performance is also really great. All the Windows Store apps also works perfectly fine. Now, as soon as I started installing some advanced softwares, like Adobe Photoshop, it started giving me some errors. Now let's move on to the section you all been waiting for, gaming. Well, I run a few games on this laptop and the performance is pretty good. The frame rates are pretty stable at 30 FPS. Now here are some average FPS that I got when I ran a few games on this laptop. And yes, it can run GTA 5. Now there's a dedicated gaming review coming up about this chipset on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Now for the thermals, I can say that the laptop is pretty cool, like literally. The laptop stays really cool all the times 
except when you are gaming or running some GPU or CPU intensive app. And even then, you can barely hear the fans running. The left side of the laptop gets a bit warm, but other than that, the laptop handles the thermals pretty good. Now for the AI features, the X Elite chip got an NPU that handles all the AI related requests. The laptop comes with Poly Studio effects, which means you can add filters and effects to your camera during the meetings or video calls. It works really well in all the apps and it's easy to enable and disable from the control center. The Copilot key only opens the Copilot app. Uh, there's no AI magic there. There's an AI companion from HP as well, but it's just another chat GPT tab in a browser. There's nothing unique about it at all. Now let's move on to the battery. This laptop comes with 59 watt hour battery with 65 watt fast charging which is delivered through Type-C port. HP claims 26 hours of battery backup, which is a bit far-fetched. I easily got about 10 to 12 hours of battery backup, and that includes a few hours of lightweight gaming. So that's pretty much it about HP OmniBook X. I know I didn't go very deep into the review because I only got this laptop like for a few days. So if you have any questions related to the laptop or the chipset, Please share them in the comments and I'll get to it ASAP. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.